Miss Olga, this is what you have been waiting for so long, your letter. Oh my God, thank you so much. After 78 years, Olha Lehos received a letter from her father, whom she barely remembers. A gunner during World War II, Ivan Temne went to the front line when his daughter was only three. Later, he was killed fighting. Oh God, I want to see my father's handwriting. For the 80-year-old daughter of a fallen soldier, this moment is too emotional. Her son read a letter written back in 1941. From husband Ivan to my wife Tonya and daughter Olya. I think she already speaks well and misses me. Olha says that looking back at her childhood, everyone recalled her father. I looked like my father very much. Everyone said, look, here's an exact copy of Ivan Tenny. Olha knows little about her father, only the fact that he worked as the head of the militia district department and loved horses very much. I remember it for the rest of my life when I rode a horse with him. My father went to war together with the horse, and in 1945 the horse returned home by itself. Can you imagine? He began neighing under the house. Mom was surprised and asked Buyan, that was horse's name, where he lost our dad. The family never managed to find out where her father was killed and buried. The frontline letter of 1941 is perhaps all his only memory of her father. News from the father, dear God, though I saw his handwriting, I can't get my head around it. How was it brought to me? How good are they? God bless them. For eight years, the staff of the Museum of the History of World War II have been looking for the recipient of frontline letters from 1941. There are more than a thousand of them. The lost letters were transferred to Kiev by the Austrian Museum Fund. Families have already received half of the discoveries. Reported by Lubov Zadorozhna, UATV.